Jack the Ripper is one of the most mysterious serial killers of all time. He terrorised and killed prostitutes in Victorian London in a brutal killing spree, and he was never caught. Today we will learn about the latest theories about Jack the Ripper, and it appears he was not just a run-of-the-mill killer, but was part of a conspiracy, possibly reaching to the highest levels of government. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. At the height of Victorian London, the city was gripped by one of the most feared serial killers of all time. Between 1888 and 1891, 11 women, most of them sex workers, would be attacked and killed in a series of gruesome murders. And whilst not all may be the work of the same man, at least five were known to be the work of the same man, the man the press named Jack the Ripper. Despite the press attention and a series of chilling and threatening letters said to be from Jack, the killer was never caught. And it appears this was not due to police failure but a deliberate decision reaching to the highest levels of British government. According to the theory, Queen Victoria's oldest son, Prince Edward, had a relationship with an Irish prostitute named Mary Kelly. Such indiscretions in royalty or aristocrats would usually be ignored, but in this case, Edward was the future heir to the throne and was destined to rule over Britain's vast empire. Could the King of England and the head of the Church of England really be allowed to have had an illegitimate child with a Catholic prostitute outside of wedlock? The answer is no. And according to the theory, the British deep state decided to solve this problem. According to the theory, Queen Victoria's surgeon was dispatched to do the killings. His first task was to kill Irish sex worker Mary Kelly, the object of Edward's affections. Sadly, then as now, sex workers are easy targets for killers, as they routinely allow strange men to take them to isolated places. Having killed Mary Kelly, Jack then had to kill anyone in her social circle who knew of the affair with Prince Edward. There could be no loose ends, and no one would be allowed alive with knowledge of the affair. To do this, the Ripper killed Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride and Catherine Eddowes. All five of the dead were prostitutes, and in the moral climate of Victorian England would have attracted little sympathy. The unusual and distinctive ritualistic desecration of their bodies is said to have been a coded message to the police. Namely, this murder was not a routine killing, but was ordered at the highest level. This would remind the police who could understand the signal not to investigate the crime too closely, which would help to explain why Jack was never caught. Strange graffiti found at the scene of one of the killings with an unusual message that's believed by some to have been a coded message to senior police seems to reinforce this. The idea that Jack the Ripper was not a garden variety sex serial killer is further confirmed by the way his crimes just suddenly stopped. Serial killers, especially those with mutilatory or sexualized tendencies, kill obsessively until they are stopped. By sharp and interesting contrast, Jack stopped almost like a switch being flicked. This suggests his killings were strategic aiming to eliminate the embarrassing social proof of Edward's indiscretions and not the sick crimes of an unhinged, uncontrollable maniac. These are, of course, just theories, and for the record, we are not definitively taking a position, only offering this theory for your interest. One final piece of evidence suggests that Jack the Ripper was really working on higher authority. Under British law, the maximum amount of time files linked to a crime can be kept secret is 100 years. The Ripper murders have been over for nearly 130 years, and yet the files still remain under lock and key in London's police archives. And a court ruling in 2011 confirmed they would remain secret, stating national security as the reason. This does not sound like a run-of-the-mill criminal case. Is there something that the British authorities want to keep secret? Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.